Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to clear background history in Windows 10. So if you have different wallpapers you've been using in the past and you want to go ahead and just erase the history of that, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off go on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you make a backup of it. In order to do that, it's quite simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Left click on export. Save the file to a convenient location on your computer. Make sure export range is selected to all and then as for file name usually the data in which you're making the backup is a smart decision and then you go ahead and left click on save and then if you ever need to come back from that backup you just put left click on the file tab and left click on import and navigate over to that file so pretty straightforward so once you've done that now you want to go expand the H key current user folder so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down do the same thing now for the software folder same thing for Microsoft. Go down now to Windows, expand the Windows folder, expand current version, expand Explorer, and now there should be a folder that says Wallpapers, so go ahead and left click on that. And if you see anything on the right side here, it says Background History Path in the name. So Background History Path 0, Background History Path 1, 2, 3, 4, anything along those lines. You want to go ahead and just right click on those values and left on Delete. Confirm Deletion, so you just go through them. You can also click the Delete key on your keyboard as well, whatever is more convenient for you. So once you're done with that, you should be able to just close out of the Registry Editor, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.